So ladies and gentlemen, here is another episode of React Redux series. Uh, and today we're going to look at Redux Saga. Um, it's one of the cool middleware that um, that works with Redux. Uh, those who actually work with Redux Tank and other middleware, I think you should definitely try Redux Saga because it's really cool. And you'll find out in a minute. By the way, this is this video is part of the much larger series on React and Redux, and actually overall series on uh, React. I think this is like a 25th episode on React. So please check out all the uh, other videos if you uh, if you are learning React. And welcome to Texit Tutorials. All right, so before we start, we need to download this project, uh, React with Redux. Uh, the problem is every time I, I try to explain a, a new concept with React Redux, um, I have to build the whole project and I want to do it every time. I don't want to waste your time because the objective of this tutorial is to uh, focus on Redux Saga. I don't need to rebuild the whole um, Redux uh, setup, right? So I wanted to build it here um, and you can download this project uh, from my GitHub site. And if you miss this URL, uh, it will be also in the description, so you can download it from there. If I execute that project, it has simple thing. It basically has this label and then these two buttons. When I click on age up, it increases this age. And when I click on age down, it decreases the age. Uh, very simple. And if I look at the code, uh, app.js has two buttons and this label that I, I showed you and it's two handles. One is called on age up and on age down and here when i click on those uh, buttons the handle gets fired up which dispatches an action for age up it's age up action and for age down it's age down action and it passes this value one which means increment by one all right and inside the source folder i have a store and inside store i have reducer which basically catches those action and increases the age if I if the action is age up and decreases the age if the um, action is age down. And the state is nothing but a simple property called age. All right. So now let's focus on uh, Redux Saga. And there's nothing asynchronous going on. So when I click on the age up button, uh, the action goes uh, from my UI to, to the reducer right away. Uh, now, what if I want to save that state on the server? So when I click on that button, it should actually save that age onto the server, the updated state. Then only should update that into the, uh, the reducer, right? Because what if there is a failure when I try to save um, the state on the server? The uh, the, the, the task that saves in the, on the server is actually asynchronous, right? Because I have no idea when everyone is going to come back to me. And so I cannot update the state until that um, that comes back. That's where the middleware comes in. Um, Saga comes in the picture. The way Saga works is it allows you to send the action normally. So from your app.js, you don't do anything fancy here. You dispatch the regular object that you that you dispatch. Unlike Redux Thunk, if you have used it, there is an action created and all that stuff. Here, you just um, dispatch your action normally. And then what you do, you have a, a watcher uh, that watches from far away. And whenever uh, a particular action gets its patch, it catches and it doesn't let, let it go through all the way to the reducer. And once it catches, it its job is to first execute the asynchronous task, uh, which would be like saving the data on the server. And once it finishes that task, then it would let it would dispatch another action that would re reach the city reducer. So it's not the same action, okay? Which is very important now. Um, so let's build it, okay? So we would need to install something. Uh, we need to install the Redux Saga here first. So I'm going to say uh, yarn add uh, Redux Saga. And that should install the Redux Saga into our project. And you can use npm install as well, if you like. All right, once it's installed, you have to do a few things so that you can set it up 
uh, Redux Saga in our project. Uh, but now this is kind of an obligatory stuff, which means you would have to do it for each project. So just learn it. It, it doesn't matter which, uh, which middleware you're using, you have to do it anyway, right? So just get used to it, I would say. First time when I looked at it and when I, when I did it, I was like, oh, what is this all? You know, how do I have to do all that stuff, right? But now I got used to it. So uh, in the index.js, you would have to obviously uh, import, let's say something, Redux Saga. It's called uh, Create Saga Middleware, okay? Now, once you import it, you would run it. Uh, and that would give us saga middleware equal to saga middleware. Once I import it, I have to run it, and it would give me this saga middleware. And in order to set this up in our store, um, here I have a create reducer, right? Uh, create store. And I'm only passing a reducer right now. But instead of reducer only, I need to pass also, uh, there is another property called apply middleware, which comes from um, a Redux. And I would just pass it here, and I would pass the, the Saga middleware inside. Actually, it's W-A-R-E, not the middleware. <laughs> My bad. Now, the last thing is, um, I would run this and I would pass some sagas inside, which we haven't created. So I'm just gonna comment this line out for now. All right, so we need to create the functionality where we actually create the sagas. Um, so it will be a separate file. And inside the source file, I will create a folder called uh, sagas. And inside the sagas, we will create a file called saga.js. All right, so this is where we're gonna create our sagas. Uh, when you dispatch an action, we need to catch it in the middle. Middle, So we need a watcher that watches that action. Now, we don't have to do it anything. It will take care of it. Um, as, soon as, as long as we pass that function inside this run, it will start basically observing from there. So we just need to create a function that does that, right? Um, so I'm going to create a function. And this is not gonna be a normal function. It's a generator function. And we're gonna talk about it uh, just in a, in a minute. Watch age up. Because since we are watching this particular action called age up, I'm just gonna call it watch the age up. And inside, if you have user generator, um, you have to called yield inside. And again, I'm gonna explain it to you what it is. And it's it needs to um, observe this this action. And I wanna op, I wanna observe every single um, action that's got this patch. So I would say uh, take every which means observe every action that dispatches. Uh, and the name of this uh, action is age up. And once you observe that, once you catch it, I need to run another function. Uh, and I'm just gonna say age up, right? That's the name of the function. We haven't created yet. Now we need to get this take every from Redux Saga. So we'd say import um, take every from uh, Redux Saga and it has effects. That's what we're gonna get it from. And let's build this function as well. Uh, age up async, which is also a generator function. And don't, be, get, don't get confused by it. I'll explain this in a minute. Yields, basically, once you catch it, you can let it go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dispatch another action. And if I wanna dispatch an action here, I have to use put. And this put, I can get it from actually, it's another another helper function. 
inside here and this would do the same thing uh, just like a dispatch so the type would be uh, instead of the same action I'm just gonna name it differently H up async okay and it also has a value right so we're gonna pass value one but you must be like oh this is what's a, what's a new thing about here right uh, you catch it and you release it there's nothing async going on well okay um, to create an async and again I want to I want to make this as simple as possible because you know this is a kind of concept if I have too much code then you get too confused so let's import uh, delay from Redux Saga and delay would allow us to um, provide yeah, sort of like a uh, set timeout yield a delay and I'm just gonna say 4,000 which is 4,000 millisecond so what it's gonna do is it's gonna watch it as soon as the age up gets this patch I would catch it here and it would run this function the so first it would delay it and then it would uh, create another action and then it dispatch an action called age of async now in our reducer we don't have this so we need to add this uh, the age up will never reach because we are catching it and we are not letting that this go further right uh, so this age up would become age up a sync and the reason I'm not letting the same action go the first time I learned uh, this I was actually dispatching the same action and what happens as soon as you dispatch it again the same action it would again catch it and it would it would go an in infinite loop so do not um, once you catch a one action uh, don't don't dispatch the same action again otherwise you'll get an infinite loop so uh, you need to dispatch an action with a different name which will eventually reach as a reducer so I don't have age up here I will only have age up async here <laughs> now let's say what is a generator function I don't want to explain uh, this in too much detail uh, I actually have a tutorial on the uh, generators uh, and iterators um, and I'll provide a link here so you can understand it before you can learn this uh, but basically the way generator works is until I do this it won't move it's like a it will block happening this um, before it does this so it will first delay and then it would um, put so that is the the feature of generator it it, it would it would block so if I have a five statement here it would go one one by one okay um, again my objective of this tutorial is not to explain the generator uh, but basically you have to put this star in front of a function uh, at the end of the function so that um, this would become a generator function and you need to use generator function if you want to use saga all right so then last thing is since we use this function we need to watch it so remember in the index.js we have this saga middleware dot run so this is where we're gonna pass this but first we need to import it so we're gonna say import this watch age up from sagas and saga and then we pass this into the all right now we're gonna run this and keep our fingers crossed okay so one there is an error what it says that you need to mount it before you run it so I have to run it after this line which is correct so let's run this again all right so it works now and remember when I I haven't done anything with the age down so if I click on it, it it decreases the age right now if I click on age up it's not gonna do anything right away it's gonna do something after like four seconds which it does now the age is 11 and after four seconds it would again increase it by one 
The funny thing is, if I keep clicking, now it will increase how many times I click, right? And maybe I don't want, want that kind of feature. What if I just don't realize that I click five times and it would um, increase five times, right? And that is because what's happening here in, inside the saga, uh, I'm using take every, which means every time there is um, event dispatch, age up, I wanna run this. Uh, so if I keep click five times, it would run this five times, which is not what I want. So instead of take every, there is another a helper called take latest. So if I use this, and now if I come here and if I click like 10 times, it will only increase it one time. And so it provides a debounce um, capability in build. So this is the power of Saga, that it allows you to, it, it, it has all this helper built in that allows you to do kind of really funky stuff. And as you can see, the code is pretty simple. Um, it has this funny syntax, but once you get over it, it's pretty, pretty cool. And again, as I said, you know, I think you should watch that video that I have on a generator. Once you understand it, then it, this becomes very easy. And just like uh, Take Latest, uh, there are a lot of other helpers that you should check it out. And it, you can actually uh, cancel a given saga and a lot of other cool things that you can do, like Fork and um, all that. So I would, I would suggest you should check it out. Um, and that's about it, folks. Uh, I hope you understand this concept. And I try to explain in a, a simplest word possible. You should also check out the entire series on Re, uh, React that I have. I'll provide uh, a link here. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you did, please like, uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. And you can help the channel via Patreon. I'll provide a link here. And you can also translate translate the video from to your native language so that people from your country can also learn uh, i would translate on every language if i knew all those languages I, uh, you should help me out and i'll provide the instruction in the uh, description if you decide to translate uh, send me an email or a message on youtube that you have translated because there is a process where i have to actually approve the translation so i don't want the the translation to be there for a long time all right and thank you